All right, guys, he's in here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So you may have noticed that I did not actually put up my usual video talking about the patch notes. Why did I not do this? I did not do this for a reason. I did this purposely. I didn't do a video I do every month because I knew what would happen if I did. So it may be obvious what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about this, right, this, this bit in the middle, right in the middle of this wall of text, even though it's not that big, right? 28 day anniversary warm up event, which starts next week, right? Now, I didn't want to make the video because, naturally, I had a feeling that it would spark people speculating. That's happened anyway, right? That's happened anyway, so I'm going to talk about it. However, I'm not going to do the usual, okay? Everyone thinks this is going to be a free legend. That's what everyone thinks. And you know what? It might be, right? It might be. But you know what people need to remember? It might not be. And I think that's really important for people to remember. Because the thing about this game is they've used the terminology warm up event before, right? And it's a login. That's what it is, it's a, it's a login, right? They've done it before, sometimes they call it countdown, whatever, but a warm-up event is generally a login, right? Now, it could be a mission-based thing, it could simply be we log in each day, we get a reward leading up to the anniversary, right? And because of the length of time, a lot of people are speculating, oh, wait, the last time they done that, it was blanker, right? Which it was, true. Last time we had a one month login, at the end of that login, you got Blanca. 100%. They regret giving us Blanca. I, I was flat out told, Pika's been flat out told, they regretted Blanca. Now I don't think they regretted giving us a free unit. I think they regretted giving us that free unit. If they could go back in time and change Blanca to Sakura, would they do it? I think so. I think they would. And honestly, if they had done that, we might have had more legends for free within that period of time because Blanca kind of made people not summon for a while because you didn't need a DPS. You, you could, you were going out and getting these new DPSs like Trendy Kami and stuff. And at the time, why? Blanca was doing a better job. So it definitely affected people summoning. And I think that's why ultimately they regretted giving us that unit. So based on what we were told previously, it would surprise me if this was actually going to turn out to be a free legend, right? But, with the time frame, with how long it's going to be, I can see why people are speculating that, right? Now, here's why I made this video. I want people to try to not expect it to be a legend. Because I put out a video saying that based on patch notes, based on him not being a hype character, to me, I thought it looked like maybe we would get Rufus as a free legend. I quite clearly stated it was speculation, based on what we could see, what we couldn't see. People took that, ran with it, he was supposed to be free. That was never said, right? So it's like this just now, everyone is thinking that this is going to be a free legend, a free login, and we are going to get a legend at the end of it. Over the next week, <laughs> that will actually develop to the point where if this warm out up thing starts, and at the end of it, there's a chest where you get, I don't know, a pick of any unit in the game that's not a legend and a couple of starlight or something, right? Let's just say that's what it is. Just randomly. It's a good reward, right? Let's say that's what it is. Everyone will be, oh my god, this sucks. We were supposed to get a free legend. Even though it was never said that that's what we would get, people will just get that carried away with taking speculation as fact. They get so disappointed when the speculation turns out to not actually be true. I know this because I've had it aimed at me that they actually think that they have been robbed out of something that they were never promised in the first place. I feel like people should just take a wait and see approach with this one. It's literally only seven days. 
We will know in seven days. So rather than assuming that we are going to get a free copy of Fashion Ryu, which is what most people are thinking, right? Assuming that that's... Try to not assume that's what's going to harm. Just take a wait and see approach. And if we get Fashion Ryu or we get some other unit, then fantastic, right? Fan fantastic. That would be great, right? The only reason I'm slightly hesitant to say that that is what I think it's twofold, right? Twofold. One, what I said already, they regret giving us fashion blanker. Two, and this is this is the more important one for me. <clears throat> they don't give hype characters away for free. They've like literally taken units who were supposed to be legend. They made them summonable because they knew they could make money off them, and they replaced them with less hype characters as legends. Like, I'm not saying Chun-Li isn't a hype character, right? But, at the time, before everyone realised how good fat, uh, Flame Chun-Li actually was, she was seen as a downgrade, because they took a unit that should have been a, a legend, they removed them, they put them into the divination pool, can't remember who it was at the time, I actually think it might have been Trendy Kami, right? And then, instead, they took Flame Chun Li and made her a legend that you paid for, right? So it was like, it felt as if you were never going to get those primo characters, like the characters like your trendy Giles, your Fashion Akumas, your Fashion Bison when he comes out. It, it felt like you were never going to get those units as legends because they knew they could make money on them. My worry is they can make money on Ryu, or Ryu, sorry. They, they can. They can absolutely make money on Ryu. Would they give him away for free? I mean, the only hope I still have here of him being the character is... Honestly, I was surprised when we got Fashion Ken as a legend. Right? I was surprised when we got Fashion Ken as a legend. I thought... There's a strong chance they might just turn him into a sellable character because he's Ken. And they'll want to try and sell him, right? But they, they made him a legend. And they, they sold him, right? I just think to myself, Top Joy, based on their history, based on their actions, does it seem like they would give us a free copy of Fashion Ryu? Oh, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. If it's a different unit and they decide to sell Fashion Ryu, then if we still got a free legend at the end of it, I would still call it a win. I just think it's a bit, I don't want to say dangerous, but you know what I mean. It's a bit presumptuous to assume that's what this is going to be. Deep down, do I think it's that? I mean, I'd say that I'm 60-40, leaning towards yes, but based on the history of Top Joy and their decision making and things that they've done, that 40% is screaming at me to say, hey Zink, make sure you speak to the community and you tell the community, keep a little bit of like trepidation on your hopes. Don't Take your hopes and turn them into facts in your head. Just remember, they haven't told us we're going to get a free legend. So if we don't, if this turns out to be a 28 day fest of getting cool things like, I don't know, diamonds, like divination tickets, like special summoning tickets, like Stardust. How do we know it's 28 days, it's four weeks, we could get a Stardust every week. Like, literally. We could, every single week, we could get that. We don't know. This could be fantastic, but at the end of it, there's not a legend. So just remember that. Don't get carried away until we actually see what it is. Again, I hope it is that, right? Although, a starlight every week, would I take that over a legend? Probably, but I'm maybe the wrong person to ask you. I think I would. We'll find out. But this could be fantastic but maybe not what people are thinking it's going to be. So all I'm saying is, pump the brakes a little bit. Stop getting carried away. Stop thinking that it's a certainty that this is what it's going to be. <clears throat> We've got a week to go. Let's wait the week. Let's see what it is. And if it's not what we hope it is, then we can't be let down because no one told us that's what it was going to be. I've just seen far too many people <clears throat> on the Discord talking about... Almost talking about it, matter of fact, is what's going to happen. We don't know that. And again, after being the cause of that with Rufus, 
I thought, you know what? Let's be sensible. Let's temper people's expectations so that they don't get too carried away. Anyway, I've been Hazing. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh!